Chief Complaint A 62-year-old edentulous male presents for routine checkup. He claims he wears his dentures during the day and while he sleeps. Patient is asymptomatic. His medical history is positive for diabetes, high cholesterol. He has no known drug allergies. His current medications are metformin and simvastatin. His family history positive for heart disease, diabetes type 2, and patient is a smoker. For the objective exam, the extraoral exam was within normal limits except for red, dry, crusty corners of the lips. The intraoral exam showed generalized arithmetic mucosal tissues and slightly hyperplastic on the hard palate. I diagnosed oral candidiasis and angular colitis. For the treatment plan, I recommended use of nice statin oral suspension. I recommended not sleeping with the dentures and soaking de complete dentures in one teaspoon of bleach and in one cup of water while sleeping. I also recommended mycolog cream for the corners of the lips. The Rx was Nysatin Rinse, 100,000 units per ml. Retain 4 to 6 ml in the mouth as long as possible, then spit out the excess four times a day for two weeks. For the Mycolog Cream, 1 to 100,000 units of Nystatin per gram and 1 milligram of Triansimilone. Dispense 15 grams. Apply to the corners of the mouth four times a day for two weeks. For the follow-up, I will reevaluate the tissues in two weeks. Possible future biopsy of the hyperplastic tissues if it does not resolve with the antifungal treatment. Visit number two. Patient returned two weeks later for follow-up visit. The mucosal redness, hyperplastic tissues, and the angular colitis was resolved. Patient will continue not to wear his dentures while sleeping. So what is the epidemiology and etiology of denture stomatitis? So in a review of the literature, denture stomatitis, a common disorder affecting denture wares, is characterized as inflammation and erythema of the oral mucosal areas covered by the denture. The epidemiological studies report prevalence of denture stomatitis among denture wares to range from 15% to over 70% and a higher incidence among elderly female denture users. The etiological factors include poor dental hygiene, continual and nighttime wearing of the dentures, accumulation of denture plaque, and bacterial and yeast contamination of denture surface. So what do we use? Antifungals versus disinfection. A systematic review of the literature was done to compare antifungal medications with other treatments for denture stomatitis. There was no statistically significant difference between antifungal treatment and disinfection methods. It was found for both the clinical and microbiological outcomes. In a meta-analysis showed a statistically significant difference between antifungal and a placebo for the microbiological outcome favoring the antifungals and there was no statistically significant difference between antifungal and placebo for the clinical outcome. So it was concluded that disinfection methods could be considered as an adjunct or alternative to antifungal medications in the treatment of denture stomatitis.